Yo, what is happening folks and welcome to yet another video with the HitLab Academy for YouTube and myself, Howie Combrink. Firstly, I just want to give you guys a big shout out for subscribing and supporting the channel. Much love and if you haven't subscribed yet, please head on over right now and click the subscribe button and ring the bell. But for today's video, we are going to be speaking about the new sampler in Logic Pro X 10.5. And let me tell you, it is absolutely awesome. So stick around and I'll show you more. Let's get into it. So I used to use Ableton as my main sampler for vocal chops and stuff, but since Logic has released this new sampler, it is really, really fantastic. So let's get into a project and see what we can do with the sampler and a vocal. Right, so what we have here is I've just created a very, very rough beat. If I solo that beat out, you'll have a listen. It's in the key of E minor. Let me play that for you so you can hear what we're working with. So that's the beat that we're going to be working with and we're going to build a vocal chop around that beat. The next thing I did was I went and downloaded a dry vocal in the key of E minor from Splice and I've imported it into the project as an audio file. The next thing I'm going to do is take that audio file and I'm going to drag it over to the grey region over there and I'm going to select Quick Sampler Original. What that's done is it's loaded up that audio file into the Logic Sampler. This is the Logic Sampler over here. The first thing you want to do is select which mode you want to use the sampler in. If you select one shot, that's great for snares and that sort of stuff, kick drums, one shot sounding instruments that you want to build a beat or a pattern around. But for the sake of today, I want to chop up various nuances inside this vocal. So I'm going to select Slice. And when you select Slice, you're going to see it's going to mark out various areas of the vocal basically where the transients are starting and that allows you to then play those various transients at different times at your choice and where you choose to play them in the song you can create rhythms with them so for example it's added each one of those little tags onto the piano roll so i have those vocals now on my piano roll so i'm going to play around a bit yeah, 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 yeah. And you can hear that some notes are overlapping others. That's because the synthesizer or the sampler has been set to polyphonic. So we're going to head on over and set it to mono first so that those notes don't over overlap each other. All right, so the next thing we want to do is actually put that sample into some kind of a rhythm so that it actually sounds like something musical at the moment. If you listen to the vocal on its own without any of the samples, you'll hear that it is fairly random. Let's have a listen to that. Alright, so we're going to take all those nuances and we're going to turn it into some kind of a cool pattern. The pop music that we listen to, sampling is so important and especially vocal sampling. So, now that we have various trans transients selected, I've sort of selected the three or four that I want to use to make this pattern. And these four that I'm going to use go as such. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like oink oink, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, so the next thing I'm going to do is just add a reverb to that channel so that it gives the sampler a little bit of musicality. It makes the, the actual vocal chops feel a little bit more musical. <laughs> All right, and let's play the beat back and see what pattern we can actually build around the beat that I composed in E minor earlier on today. So that last pattern really worked well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record it in over here, the second part of the beat cycle. Just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is just head on over to my piano roll and my MIDI and I'm going to just quantize those by selecting all with command A and pressing Q to quantize to 16th notes. Just like that, just like that. Let's have a listen to that and see what it sounds like. All right, so now the vocal is feeling a little bit sort of too 
natural for me. So I'm just going to drop the form into bit using the Logic Pro X's um, Formant plugin, which lies in Pitch and Vocal Transformer. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're just going to drop the formant of that vocal a little bit to put it into a nice pop space. So let's work that and see what we get. And what you can do with that, you can head on over to Logic's default delay, stereo delay, or tape delay, or sample delay, anyone you choose, and you can actually put a cool delay on that, which will even trip it out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go with the stock delay and hear what that sounds like, the loaded up delay. And just like that, you have yourself a pretty cool vocal sample. So that's it for today, folks. That was a nice short and sweet video, just talking about the new Logic sampler. We will put out more videos diving into that sampler a little bit more. But for now, I think that's good enough for you guys to get going with the new Logic Pro X 10.5 sampler. I hope you enjoy it. It is really awesome. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to find out more about how you can work with us here at The Hit Lab, please go and visit www.thehitlab.co.za and visit the virtual studio section. That way, you can work with us from anywhere in the world at The Hit Lab. If you haven't already done it, please go and head on over and subscribe to our channel. But until next time, folks, you have yourselves a fantastic week and I'll see you soon. Peace.